So it sounds to me like you, there's a lot more to it than just the numbers that are going to be required to, to, to make change. And w one of the things that, that we've been hearing from both our, our clients and in the various interviews in our podcast series is that unconscious bias training is becoming quite a thing where they're trying to help people raise their awareness of their, of their unconscious bias. And then in the, in the social uh, awareness, in the Twitterati, et cetera, there's the concept of, of wokeness. And, and I'm trying to see if that ties back to the title of your book, you know, you can't fix what you can't see. Do you think that unconscious bias training uh, or overall the trend of wokeness is, is a good trend? Do you think it's being effective? Yes, I think it's absolutely effective. It, it doesn't solve the problem. It really increases your own self-awareness and your awareness of what other people are doing to understand that those biases are there because we all have them. Mm. You know, if you meet somebody and they say, oh, I don't have any biases. Well, you know, they're, they're suffering from the Dunner-Kruger effect. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. Um, you know, we, we, we all have biases and, and they factor into our decisions on a daily basis. And that's why it's so important to have teams. And almost everything these days is done with teams. Mm. And the mix of your teams, if you get the right mix of teams and skills, of people that think differently, you're less likely to do something colossally stupid. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, there's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of, uh, you know, things, things in our history, like the Titanic, right. Mm -hmm. The steel ship that couldn't sink <laughs> sunk on its maiden voyage. Right. And I, you know, coming from the engineering field, there's, you know, history is littered with, with these things and but if you go back and you you look at who who were the teams who designed these things how did they think how did they make their decisions and a lot of those things can factor into w whether or not you end up with a, a titanic or you know the ship that actually made it mm. so it's really uh it's really vitally important 